Breaking news. We now know Advocate Christ Medical Center violated standards in its handling of the Maryland Marlon Ochoa case, the murdered Chicago mother. The revealing new court documents released only to CBS2. The details come today, the same day Marlon's baby, Giovanni Jade Lopez, died. He suffered a severe brain injury in April when he was cut from his mother's womb. CBS2's Charlie Devar is in the control room with what he's learned from the new hospital documents. Charlie. Brad and Erica, good evening. Advocate Christ Medical Center faces no punishment or penalty because they technically met state standards, but this investigation does reveal some serious internal breakdowns. A new report from the Illinois Department of Public Health highlights a major breakdown in communication between staff at Advocate Christ Medical Center and the Chicago Police Department in the Marlen Ochoa case. The hospital was not in compliance with standards for hospitals. The hospital failed to implement and maintain a system that ensures administrative staff's knowledge of police activities within the hospital. Clarissa Figueroa, daughter Desiree, and boyfriend Peter Boback, all accused in connection to the murder and cover-up of Marlene Ochoa's death on April 23rd. Her unborn child ripped from her womb. Clarissa then tried passing the child off as her own. For days, nobody knew the baby at Christ Medical Center was really Ochoa's. Figueroa showed no signs of childbirth, but still claimed the baby was hers, and a hospital social worker clearly confused two weeks after the baby was brought to the hospital, writing, I was in my office and the doctor came into my office and asked, should this mother be making decisions on the baby because it may not be the baby's mother? I didn't know what the doctor was talking about. Christ chief medical officer echoing the lapse in communication, telling investigators May 21st, we, the hospital administration, heard about it in the news that a warrant for arrest for patient number one had been issued. The administration had no direct communication with CPD. Continuing to say, no one from the administration or a public safety officer knew that the CPD was in the building interviewing staff. Now, as a result of this investigation, the hospital does not have to make any changes, but in a letter, Advocate writes that they are going to improve the way that they communicate with officers in the hospital. Live in the control room, Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News, Brad and Erica. All right, Charlie, many thanks.